Bias FX has a whole bunch of different pedals, different amps, all these different simulations. But what about acoustic? Does the acoustic have a part in Bias FX 2? Today we're going to find out. Let's do it. Hey guys, welcome back to Truth Guitar Method. My name is Joel, you can call me Joel, son of Caesar, and yes, my dad's name really is Caesar. So today we're talking about Bias Effects 2. Technically, this is episode two, but we're gonna be focusing on the acoustic simulation of uh, this software, whether or not it's any good. I had a viewer ask me, but what about the acoustic? Is it, is it good? Does it handle it well? Does it feel like an acoustic? We're gonna go ahead and find out right now. Here we go. All right, so first things first, you're gonna to want to open up your Bias FX2 application, and that, you know, wherever you have it in your computer, that's where, that's where you're gonna go. Uh, I have it in my start bar. So while it loads here, I do wanna say something about the acoustic simulator or the acoustic settings in this program, in this software, and in my opinion, they are pretty freaking good. All right, so um, the program has opened, and uh, the first thing you're gonna see, uh, if you're not familiar with the interface and how it works and what you're looking at, and you know the scene here, and the head here, and the output, and all these little different things, you're gonna wanna go and watch my first video called Bias Effects 2, and uh, I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and put it in this video somewhere up here at the end, and you guys can go watch that if you're not familiar with the interface. This video is not about that. We're gonna go ahead and go straight to the acoustic simulator. So, um, you're gonna to wanna to go to where, you know, the little bar here, I have it, for some reason, it's set up to pop music, American Deluxe. I didn't do that. Anyway, so you're gonna click there, okay? Click once, and uh, you're gonna you're gonna see all the factory banks. That's the stuff that the software already comes with and it's preloaded. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go straight to the acoustic portion. Uh, once you get to the acoustic portion, you'll notice that there are a bunch of locked simulations here, and that's because of the bias effects um, software that you bought. And remember, I don't know if you guys saw the first video, but there are three. There's the bias effects 2, the bias effects pro, and then the bias effects elite, I believe. And so the more you pay, the more you get. I have the very simple version of it because I don't always go to it. I've got different amps and uh, I just got the Spark amp, which I'm gonna be doing a review on pretty soon. It's sitting right here, which also has an acoustic simulator. Anyway, so um, the acoustic simulator, what it does come with if you buy the cheaper version of it, you get five of them. You get one called a Cool Stick. You get one called Acoustic Like. Get another one called the Across the Galaxy. Uh, you're gonna get one called Echo Place, and you're gonna get one called Sentimental Finger. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and play through these. Now, I'm gonna say something, and you might not like it, and uh, you know, you might get back to me like, well, that's not really what I wanted to hear. I get it, I completely get it. I am having some trouble with my VST plugin to run through my OBS. So I'm going to go, I have a pretty good microphone. It's a Shure microphone and I've got it connected and I've got it to where it's not gonna clip. So I'm gonna go ahead and play through these, the factory settings, uh, and uh, and then you'll go ahead and, uh, and get to see whether or not it's, uh, it's any good, okay? And then we're gonna build one uh, by ourselves, and then we're gonna take a look at what happens if you plug in an actual acoustic. All right, let's get to it, here we go. All right, so for this, um, I'm gonna be using my PRS, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and unmute the uh, cool stick acoustic simulator. And what we've got up here, you can see the scene. Uh, this is everything that there is uh, that you're using. You got a compressor, the acoustic simulator V2, the acoustic sim amp, 
and you can even move the placement of the microphone as if you were playing live and you've got a little bit of a reverb in there and uh, all the necessary things to make a really, really good acoustic sound on stage. Now, if you, um, if you needed to turn a knob or something, you can always just click and move up and down and same with the, um, with the head and uh, same with moving the mic around, like I said just before, and same with the compressor or any other pedal that you put in here. Um, now, if you don't like what you see here, all you're gonna do, or if you wanna change something, like say you don't like this reverb pedal, you double click and it'll, it'll give you the other um, reverb pedals that are available. In this case, we have a rack, the stereo reverb, and the 63 spring. Again, the more you pay, the more you get. Uh, but we're not going to do that right now. We're just going to go ahead and listen. So here we go. So here's a cool stick. Here's what you sound, what it sounds like. Not bad. Sounds good in my opinion. Now, if you um, don't like that one specifically, you double click on the top where it says acoustic, or uh, you click once, and it'll give you the other five choices. Uh, another thing you can do is just click the next arrow, and it'll go right to the next one. Go ahead and ignore, I'm not gonna save any of the settings. Uh, this is a little bit more intense, right? There's a lot more things on the scene here. You got a gate, a noise gate, the compressor, you got a splitter, and then you've got two acoustic simulators, two acoustic amps, you got a mixer, a reverb, and I believe it, that's it. That's all that's in there. And again, you can add or take away anything that you don't like, right? So if you don't uh, wanna be using one or the other or both or whatever. So uh, here's the sound of the acoustic light, which is the second uh, of the already preset um, sounds in the software. So here's what this one sounds like. This one definitely sounds more stage ready, in my opinion. Sounds really good. Reverb is so nice. Super good, love it. Uh, out of the two, this one so far is my favorite. I think this is the one I use used for that sticky boogers. I, I'm not 100%. All right, so the next one is number three. It's called Across the Galaxy. And again, the scene looks different and you are able to build whatever scene you want. You can actually take what's already here and modify it. Like let's say you like this one specifically, but you wanna make a couple changes. You can actually click here and override it so it stays like that or you save it as a new one and you put it in one of the banks down here so that, you know, it's always there and it's always with you. I personally wouldn't override these because they're kind of like, I mean, just think about it. Who were the people that put this program together, right? They were experienced and they know what they're doing. So if they were doing this specifically, then um, you want to kind of leave it like that and then just create a new one and put it in a bank. And that way, if you ever don't like your sound, you can always go back to the original. So uh, this one is Across the Galaxy. Let's take a, a listen. Here's what it sounds like. Very spacey, you can hear it. Oh, 
Oh, that's so good. Almost, almost, not 100%, almost like a 12 string guitar. Gets, gets you that feeling. A full feeling. Not 100%, right? Because 12 string guitar has got a very, very nice sound and it's very unique, but this... Definitely sounds very close to it. I like this one. This one's a good one. All right, let's go to the next one. The next one is Echo Place. And again, the scene is a little bit different, a whole bunch of different things. And uh, again, everything is, you can modify it. I have not sat and played with this long enough to tell you this is how you get this sound. This is how you get this other sound because I just don't use this a lot. I definitely go to it when, I, when I'm looking for a specific sound, but everything can be changed, everything can be modified to what you like. If you understand pedals, if you understand mixers, if you understand uh, equalizers, then you'll understand this. If I go to an equalizer here, it's got like, it, I mean, that looks very, very familiar if you know what an equalizer is. If you go to a delay pedal, it looks exactly like a delay pedal. I mean, not 100%, right? It doesn't look like flashback or something like that, but you know, it's got very, very similar um, buttons and knobs. And so if you understand those things, you shouldn't have a problem. It's just about adding or subtracting from your scene that will produce your sound. So echo place, here's what you get. Ooh. I did not intend to play that slow. That's so good. That's so good. So I definitely say that for the echo place, it's for the slower playing, more ambient sounds. Again, this is a PRS. I definitely get the sensation of an acoustic sound or an acoustic setting. Very, very nice. Let's take a look at the next one. I think there's one more. Sentimental Finger. <laughs> That's that's quite a name there. Uh, again, same as before, different scene, different simulator, uh, different settings, different things. Let's see what this one sounds like. The sim sentimental finger, here we go. I take it back. This is the one I used for the sticky booger. It sounds... Yep, this sounds like you are at a guitar store, you're in the acoustic room, and you're playing. So nice. That's good. That sounds good. That sounds really, really good. Now, these um, factory banks, if you will, I think were made to simulate an acoustic guitar assuming that all you had was an electric guitar. I don't know what these would sound like if you plugged in an acoustic guitar, but I'm assuming they would sound decent, but it wouldn't it wouldn't be like optimized. It wouldn't be the best sound for use of an acoustic guitar through the simulator, right? Because the whole thing is that it's simulating an acoustic guitar. So what I'm going to do right now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch guitars. I'm going to get my acoustic 
and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and build um, some settings for running your acoustic through Bias FX2. And uh, it's gonna happen right. So I've got my acoustic now, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and see. Well, first I'm gonna just gonna strum through a G chord and a D chord and a C chord. Now here's the problem, here's the issue that you'll find out is that you're going to be hearing the natural sound of my acoustic, right, because of the microphone. And then you're also gonna hear the simulated sound um, through the speakers. But this is just a bonus because, again, bias effects is a simulator and the factory banks that are already in there are to simulate an acoustic guitar. But I just wanted to see what happens if you take your acoustic guitar and uh, build something to sound like stage ready, right? So uh, let's go ahead and go back to the acoustic settings. Let's go to a cool stick. I'm just gonna go ahead and strum through it, see what it sounds like. Here we go. I'm playing very lightly just so that you can get the speaker sound. Let's go ahead and go through acoustic like. bad. Across the galaxy. There is a weird sound going on there, but again, I think that it's because, again, this is a simulator. I think it sounds better with the electric on there. Echo plays. Oh, there's like a double echo because of the acoustic with the acoustic guitar. It's not bad. It's just, again, it's a simulator already, so you don't need your acoustic guitar. A sentimental finger. This one sounds the best, in my opinion, if you're running your acoustic sound. Again, I'm playing very lightly. What you're hearing is from the speakers. That sounds good. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're gonna go ahead and build a good, uh, I guess, preset for ourselves. If you did have an acoustic that would simulate a better stage presence, but not simulate an acoustic guitar. So what we're gonna do first is I'm gonna go ahead and take the cool stick, the simplest, one that they have and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and save as new okay and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and name it um, tester okay there it is and I'm gonna select whichever bank bank one or two I'm gonna go ahead and select bank two for the purpose of this video and there it is okay now uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear the scene and watch what happens so I'm gonna clear the scene everything's gonna disappear and you get these like default items, okay? Now, personally, I like having a noise gate on there because any extra noise can be manipulated with the noise gate um, that might be coming from either your guitar or from the processing of the sound, okay? But I am gonna change my amp head to something more acoustic, to an acoustic um, simulated amp. So I'm gonna go ahead and double click and uh, if you look here on the left, it'll say low gain, crunchy, high gain, acoustic, or bass. So I'm gonna go with an acoustic amp, and I'm gonna go with the acoustic simulator. There's a flat acoustic, and then there's a keyboard amp. You think a keyboard would work on this thing? I don't know. So I'm gonna go with the acoustic simulator, and that'll automatically switch my amp head and my, um, my amp. Uh, so again, the microphone can move. Now, usually when I put a microphone um, near the speaker, I like to put it offset either left or right, depending on the room, depending on the house, whatever it is. So I'm actually not gonna put it up here. I'm gonna go ahead and drop it just a little lower around here, off to the side. 
Okay, and uh, again, that's gonna simulate what we are getting. And then we've got all these controls here, and again, you can change these as you go. So what does it sound like off the bat? Here's what it sounds like, and I'm gonna play real lightly on my acoustic. Sounds like if you were plugging into an acoustic amp. No effects, no nothing, real clean. Perfect. Okay, um, but acoustic sound goes really, really good if you add a little bit of, I was gonna drive, I'm just kidding, no drive. If you add a little bit of reverb. Now I like the simple stuff, right? So the, the simpler, the better. Again, you can get complicated if you want to I and mean, put in that rack. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the 63 spring here. I'm gonna double click and it'll put it uh, if you notice, the position here of the of the pedal will be after the effects from the head of the um, amp, right? So that means you're going to run your noise gate, and then the amp, and then the reverb, and then the acoustic. This little line is your signal path, if you're familiar with signal paths. I'm going to put my reverb at the end, okay? And I'm gonna turn it on, and I'm gonna go ahead and blend it a little bit and decay it a little bit. So I like a longer tone, and here we go. So without it, here's what it sounds like. Single note. And then, ooh, did I take it off? And then with it, I'll go ahead and put it back in there. Uh, with it, There you go, that took forever. Uh, with it, here's what it sounds like. Chord. Single note. Without it. With it. Sounds a little better, but it's a little noisy. So what I'm gonna go ahead and add is I'm going to go ahead and add a, where are you? Where are you, where are you? I'm gonna go ahead and add an equalizer. So I'm gonna EQ my stuff, but I'm gonna put my EQ in the front. That's where I want it. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and put it after the noise gate Maybe bad idea, I don't know, we'll see. And uh, so you got your lows and your highs. I'm gonna go ahead with my highs just a little bit and with my lows just a little bit and see the difference. So um, without it, okay, with it, so now it's starting to get a little noisy uh, even a little bit more. So I'm gonna go ahead and lower the presence here, lower the treble a little bit, lower the middle, and lower the bass a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and give me a little bit more. Sorry. I said more. There it is. I wanted less treble. Right there. Now, personally, I like the ones that are already in here. But again, I did this so that you would see what it would be like if you wanted to simulate um, a setup on stage that included your acoustic guitar. I'm gonna go ahead and set this down for a second. But I um, really, really hope that you guys enjoyed the video as far as the acoustic settings with the bias effects and whether or not you think it's a good one. Um, there's a whole bunch of other stuff that um, you can that you can do um, with uh, bias effects too. And personally, like I said before, I really, really like the factory banks. If you're still watching up to now, Maybe you decided that the factory banks were good enough.
personally, my favorite one is definitely um, Sentimental Finger. It's To me, it sounds as it would sound if I were playing on stage with an acoustic guitar. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. Remember, at the end of this video, you'll see the Bias Effects 2 uh, Episode 1, which was basically looking through the interface. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you subscribe, hit a like, and hit a bell. And uh, let me know, leave a comment, let me know if you liked it, let me know, Joel, you talk too much, I hate you, whatever. I mean, whatever it is that you need, I'm here to help you. Um, and uh, hopefully, hopefully we'll see each other again in another video. All right, guys, have a good one. See ya.